Starting a space company must have been a hectic decision for Elon Musk. But in reality, the great decision won't be his nightmare since it's going to continuously make him millions of dollars and he'll eventually become a human on Earth who's worth trillions of dollars after summing up his shares and stock percentage of his two companies, Tesla and SpaceX. Hi, welcome to SpaceX. Uh the modeling analysis Elon Musk and SpaceX employed in modeling the Starship give it the taste of luxury, authenticity, and durability. This type of design is not only done for a reason to make the Starship top-notch spacecraft, but also to make it reliable and reusable. The Starship upper stage is designed to have a diameter of 9 meters and 50 meters tall. It will be fully reusable, but it will be analyzed once a while to verify if it still obeys standard measures of good conditions and working principles. However, at the moment, the Saturn V rocket is still considered as one of the most powerful rockets ever, with approximately 3.4 kilograms of thrust. But even with this magnitude of thrust power, the Starship with 24 engines will be more powerful than the Saturn V rocket. Transporting 100 people to Mars in the Starship will be a dream come true, since Elon Musk has often spoken about his dream. So many people try to talk me out of starting a ride company, it was, it was crazy. Of building a city on Mars, and he knows that colonies will need large numbers of people in order to make it a self-sustaining city. Welcome to Tech Space. Stick around as we show you the secret reason why SpaceX is the best type of rocket ever made in the history of mankind. Elon Musk remains as confident as ever that SpaceX will land humans on Mars by 2026, building a human settlement in the process. In October 2020, Musk said that SpaceX has a fighting chance of sending an uncrewed Starship rocket to Mars in 2024. What might be considered a calculative challenge to Elon Musk is that he hasn't succeeded in getting to orbit yet. He's gone through several prototypes that have failed. Once he does get it built and working though, it will be the biggest spaceship that has ever been launched into space. SpaceX is a private company, which means that the precise cost of their castings might not be fully disclosed to the public. However, based on the statement from SpaceX that their rockets cost about $54 million to build, we can assume that Starship is four times the proposed cost of a rocket. Notwithstanding, it is a new launch vehicle for SpaceX that promises to be the most powerful rocket ever. With six engines called Raptor and a booster sporting 37 more, the Starship is about twice as powerful as the Saturn V rockets. The Starship will be much more capable than NASA's latest flagship rocket, Space Launch System. Starship and Super Heavy are both fully reusable, while SLS is not. This means SpaceX rockets will be cheaper than NASA rockets. The Starship User's Guide is a document written by SpaceX that gives us a little more insight into the Starship. Here are five facts from the guide which reads the detailed specification of the Starship, yet you might not be aware of. 1. Caution Wide Load One of the most notable features of the Starship is that it has the largest payload fairing in existence. The standard Starship fairing is 9 meters in diameter and 8 meters in height, which gives it a huge payload volume. The Starship's super wide load is what sets itself apart from other rocket launchers. It can carry entire space systems, such as satellites and space stations, into orbit without having to take them apart and send them up in pieces. 2. Max Headroom New features mean more versatility for the Starship spacecraft. The extended payload volume will allow you to carry oddly shaped payloads and multiple large telecom satellites in one go. 3. Fragile, handle with care. Rocket launchers are carefully designed so that they can accelerate a payload at different levels of g-forces. This is a measure of acceleration due to gravity. SpaceX is designing their rockets in a way that accommodates different payloads with differing requirements. For instance, the Super Heavy and Starship engines can be throttled to maintain launch vehicle limits, while still satisfying the needs of a payload. This function of the rocket's design will expand the range of cargo SpaceX can use Starship to carry, and the Starship can carry many more types that would have previously been inaccessible. 4. No more dumped fairings Rocket fairings provide protection for their payloads and are made of two hinged halves. These halves open up when the rocket is in space, releasing the payload. 
Once the spacecraft has been released, the fairing tumbles in Earth's atmosphere. Although SpaceX's rockets are similar to Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy, the company has been working to recover its fairings by parachuting them back to Earth and capturing them in large nets. Starship is different from other rockets because it has an openable, closable clamshell fairing door that will protect the payload. This means that it will be able to deploy the payload more effectively and safely than any other rocket in history. When clamshell fairing door is opened and the payload adapter and payload are tilted at an angle in preparation for separation, the payload is then separated using the mission unique payload adapter, after which the fairing door then closes again. The ability to open and close the fairing door repeatedly will allow the Starship to capture defunct satellites for repair or refueling in orbit, relocate satellites to new orbits, or even bring them back to Earth. 5. The Price However, one thing that SpaceX leaves out of its Starship User's Guide is arguably the most important point of all from the perspective of an investor. The Price SpaceX has yet to release any information on how much it might charge for its Starship launch services. It is, however, clear that the company will not be providing any information about how much it will cost for it to build or operate a Starship. Until we know the details of Starship's production and price point, it will be hard to say how much SpaceX will profit from their new venture. But guess the price will be soon released, so subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to quickly get updated on the newest amount SpaceX will set as their launch price to the space or Mars. Given what we know now about Starship from the company's Starship User's Guide, we think it's safe to say that if SpaceX puts their deal on the right track, it's going to be a very hard company to compete with. Humanity's best chance of reaching Mars is currently the private enterprise Starship, which has no competition among other private companies or government space agencies, and SpaceX hopes to achieve crewed missions to Mars before the end of the decade. Elon Musk's ambitious timeline involves building up to 100 Starships every year, which will be capable of carrying up to 100 people. By 2050, it will be possible to have established a self-sustaining colony on Mars, thus ensuring that humans are finally multi-planetary species. While it might also sound weird that SpaceX chose to use the stainless steel metal as Starship's primary building material, considering its weight-to-strength ratio is less than desirable. Although stainless steel has a lower weight-to-strength ratio, but its corrosion resistance and durability make it the perfect choice for a rocket that will be traveling to other planets. And it is well known for its ability to withstand both high and low temperatures. And as it turns out, this can be attributed to the fact that stainless steel has a particular tolerance for temperature variances that many other materials simply can't compete with. Aluminum is a cheaper and lighter material also than steel, but why isn't it used as a popular choice for manufacturers of rockets? However, the answer to this question is actually fairly simple. Aluminum has a higher temperature tolerance than steel. Again, the Starship is the first ever spaceship to be entirely powered by renewable energy. The whole idea behind this project is to be an interplanetary vehicle, and that means it will be subjected to both freezing and scorching temperatures as it ascends and descends, that is, changing the condition of its surroundings. Starship will be entering Mars' incredibly thin atmosphere in such a way that the heat generated from drag will slow it down as it falls. Stainless steel, however, cannot withstand this much heat and will be burned up, so the company is looking for a better off option for the material that will land the Starship on Mars without explosion. And while the research is still ongoing, to fight back against the heat, SpaceX is developing a liquid methane pump underneath the Starship's surface. It's like how humans sweat in the heat. The pump will create an immense amount of coolant within the time that it will land and cool down. In your own opinion, do you think the Starship is actually the best spaceship ever made in history? Please do well to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Until next time, please like, share, and subscribe. And while you're still around, why don't you click on one of those flashing videos on the screen for more content?